Hey, hey, spooky pretties, and welcome back to my Wednesday Scream collection series. If you didn't catch me on Monday with Monster Mondays, yes, I'm back and kicking it. I'm better than ever, and I'm so excited to be here again talking about all things Scream with my fellow Screamers. I'm really pumped to talk about today's t-shirt. Oh my God, this comes from Pentagram Peter Pan. It's kind of a mouthful, but let me show you. It's a Scream 2 shirt, my first Scream 2 shirt ever. And I've gotta be honest with you guys, I love a lot of my Scream shirts. I have a lot of them, but I think this one takes the cake. Or maybe I'll just say it's my favorite Scream 2 shirt, <laughs> but it, it really is my favorite Scream shirt. I love the colors, I love the distressed, retro 90s look. I love that we have Mickey's eyes, we have all the characters, and down here, if you didn't see, Jada Maureen Evans, just chilling, dead. Everybody's on this shirt. I mean, Hallie's not on this shirt. There's a couple of people missing, but I love that they include Jada's character. We've got Mickey. Oh, it's perfect. This is one of my favorite images of Ghostface. I just love this shirt. Now, unfortunately, if you go to Pentagram Peter Pan's website, this shirt along with the rest of their Scream drop is probably no longer on their website. They do small drops for like 72 hour periods, so the shirts don't stay up there forever. However, sometimes they do reprints very rarely, so maybe you'll catch one of these Scream shirts on there at some point, but if not, they have so much other sick merchandise from plenty of other movies, not just horror. So check them out today, information in the description box. So I'm really excited to talk about today's main item. I get more messages about this item than almost anything else in my collection. You guys message me a lot about my screen used wardrobe pieces and my props, but actual collection pieces, you guys message me about this one the most. Are you ready for it? <laughs> Casey's phone. Yes, this is not the actual phone that was used in the movie. This would probably be under glass, bulletproof glass, <laughs> if this was that actual phone. But it is the same make and model, the exact same phone she used in the film. And it's very, very hard to find. And I have people messaging me constantly what the model number is or the serial number, all that jazz and I am happy to talk about it today. So maybe some of you have that same question and I can answer it for you. So to start off, I did not personally find this phone myself. My husband actually used to work for Bell South, which is the company of this phone. Or I don't know if he used to work for Bell South, I'm gonna have to go back and ask him. But he used to sell phones and obviously back in the 90s. If you didn't know, my husband's older than me. So um, he was kicking it in the 90s selling phones, apparently. Anyways, <laughs> he, just by watching the movie, had sold so many of these phones back then, he knew just by watching the film what model number that phone was. He didn't even have to research it. He knew it from memory. The guy's a genius, I swear to God. But he knew I wanted this phone in my collection. He luckily found it on eBay, which is apparently a very hard thing to do because I've heard from tons of you that you have trouble finding it. But he was lucky enough several years back to find this for me on eBay, completely surprised me with it. I had no idea it was coming. Boom, there it is. So this is the phone. It's got everything still on it. It's in great shape. I'm gonna get up super close. We've got the talk button and what else we got on here? Got the ringer on off. It's a 10 channel auto scan. Got all the dial numbers. Pause, memo, tone, flash, redial, bell south. And then on the back, you could actually write in people's phone numbers. Ones that you maybe didn't want to remember on your own. And then on the back, it talks about everything it offers. I won't read all that, I'll just leave it here for you guys to like take a peek. So that's the phone, it's fantastic. I love it, you've probably seen me post a bunch of pictures with this 
you know, in some of my modeling photos on my Instagram. It's fantastic. But I don't know if you guys know, I also have its original stand and the original box with stuff inside the box that we're gonna dig through because I don't think I've actually been through this box since when my husband bought it for me. I think that's the last time I've gone through it all. But here's the stand. It sits right up straight and once it's in the stand plugged in to the wall, it charges, keeps the phone on charge. But we've got like a little antenna, ET phone home. Woo, that thing's tall. We're gonna put that back down. So this is the stand. There's some more information down here. We've got like a paging button. It shows when it's in use and when it's plugged in and when it's charging, all that jazz. There's even, if you need service, there's a phone number on here to call. Now I'm gonna read this to you guys. It might be annoying. The model number on this, which is also on the box, is 537ZX, 537ZX. But before that in parentheses, it's HAC. So HAC or HAC 537ZX. And then the FCC ID, which I have no idea what that means, but maybe it'll help you, is C5Q9410. All of that is right there in the bottom corner. But again, it's also on the box, which I will show you. Right here at the top, model number, 537ZX. 10 channel cordless telephone, Bell South. It has tons of features apparently on here. 10 number speed dial, flash key for call waiting, electronic security, filtered sound system, paging from the base, hearing aid compatible, desk and wall mountable, stand out headset. Oh, lots of stuff guys, lots of stuff. I don't know how much you want me to read that. There's everything this magical phone does. And inside the phone box, I'm not sure if you guys even care. You probably just care about this part, but we've got the charging cord to, uh, to keep it working. And yes, this phone does still work, but we don't have a landline here at the house. I've tried to talk my husband into getting one, but what's the point in paying for one? <laughs> but it is pretty badass. But it comes with the original instruction manual pretty awesome. Again, in great shape. It's like these people, they kept it all and they, they never did anything with it. It's pretty awesome. And then if you needed an extra base to charge it, you could order one. This is an order form. Maybe if yours broke down. Oh yes. And please, God, they have everything still left in here. It's like it was never touched. Please read manual for complete instructions. Stop. This is like it's never been touched. It's kind of crazy. And then like quick start instructions if you didn't want to hear the whole spiel in the manual. We've got English, we've got Spanish. Awesome, awesome. And then we've got the internet cord. You know, in the 90s, when these things were necessary. We've got another little cord here, a shorter cord. Fantastic. I love how everything is so nice in this box. The box itself could be a little bit better, but the things inside the box are in phenomenal shape. It looks like we've got a little time left today, so I'm gonna talk about one more item. And I'll give you one last look at the phone and it's a beautiful base. I love it. So check like, I don't know, check Goodwill. Maybe people take their old phones there. Check thrift stores and antique shops and keep your eyes peeled on eBay. One pops up every now and then. So my fingers crossed for you guys. I'm pulling for you. He's pretty. So the last item I wanna talk about today goes with my shirt. I wanted to talk about something from Scream 2. Let's get this out of here. This is a new item in my collection. I got this off eBay. Yes, it's another VHS tape, 
But this one is slightly special because it's the widescreen copy, which is harder to find. We've got the purple band up here, widescreen, collector's edition. This one is definitely harder to find for the Scream 2 VHS. I like the pop of purple on there. It kind of makes it look special, I guess, because it is the collector edition. But that's that. I got this off eBay. This is what the back looks like. And the sides also say widescreen collector's edition with the purple. Yeah, I don't think widescreen was always offered on VHSs, which is, which is cool. Just to compare, even though I've shown this version before, it's not terribly different. It's really just the purple band. Pretty much the same, except we're adding in the widescreen option. So yes, eBay guys, eBay. And I'm sure you could probably find one of these at a disc replay. That's what um, our local video exchange place is called. Maybe a disc replay or a thrift shop or Goodwill. But eBay was the lucky place that I found this. So again, I'm so happy to be back with you guys and I hope you continue tuning in every week. If you are new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly drops. I am here for you on Mondays for Monster Mondays and Wednesdays for my Scream Collection series. Have a great week, guys. I will catch you next Monday. You continue to keep it weird and make it Maggie. Bye for now.